Over the years, I've learned a few hard lessons when it comes to the obligatory use of a tripod for landscape photography. So with this video, I'm gonna give you five top tips that I hope help you when you're out in the field capturing landscape images with your own tripod. Number one, how to shoot vertical shots. Dead simple, all you're gonna do is loosen that ball head and tilt it to the left. That is it, dead simple. If I was to tilt it to the right, what would happen? I'd be like, uh, I can't get in, it's, it's too tight. You'd be faffing about. Tilt it to the left, all of the controls are on the top. They're on the right hand side of the camera so I can access everything without losing my shit. Also, there's the battery compartment, the memory compartment. Everything that you need is usually, on most cameras, on this side of the camera. So tilt it over to the left, avoid Hulk smashing your whole rig. Tip number two, don't force it. One of the common things I see with my beginner students is if I ask them, okay, let's just tilt the camera to the right, which would require this. Instead of doing that, they'll just grab it and use brute force to go like that. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna strip your thread, possibly damage the camera, possibly damage the clip. And on one occasion, I've even seen it pop off of the clip and fall down a hill. So to avoid disaster, if you need to make an adjustment, you've paid all this money for this lovely ball head loosen it off and, and make the adjustment. That's all you gotta do. So tip number two, don't force it, otherwise you'll seriously regret it. Tip number three, let go of the tripod. I don't know why people hang on for dear life like this. They, they're holding on to the legs while, while they're taking the shot, especially if it's a long exposure. The only time you'd ever wanna hold on to your tripod is let's say you're in the middle of a river and the current is making the whole thing vibrate or you're in some high winds and you just wanna put a little bit of pressure on it. But other than that, get your bloody hands off. Stop touching that tripod. Once you start taking that shot, get your hands off. And I don't know about you, but when I've had a lot of coffee, I've got the shakes. The last thing I wanna do is be touching that tripod. I'll end up with a blurred image. It won't be sharp. So tip number three, let go of the tripod. Tip number four, make sure that everything is locked down tight and start from the actual clip that's on the camera. You wanna tighten that up, make sure it's as tight as a fish as a Let's put that there. Next up, the thing that always works its way loose on this particular tripod, on this particular ball head, is this screw here. Um, every tripod head, every ball head, there'll be some part of it that works its way loose over time, especially if you're forcing things. So make sure that you always carry the correct hex key so that you can tighten that up because you'll seriously regret it whenever you're out in the field. The one time that that's gonna fail on you is when the best shot ever is happening. So lesson learned, avoid that. And then the other thing to, do, to make sure of is that all of the parts of your tripod, whether it's the telescopic legs or this central column here. So this one has a, as most tripods do, has this, this wrench here that tightens up this central stem. If you're gonna adjust that, make sure that that is clamped down tight, that this is clamped down tight and that is clamped down tight before you start taking your shot. If you're doing any kind of manual bracketing, if you've got movement between those shots, you're seriously gonna regret that later when you come to post-process it. Whereas if you keep things tight and locked down, everything's gonna be stable, everything's gonna be super sharp. Tip number five, always pour out the water from your tripod legs. If like me, you shoot a lot of river scenes, you're in lakes or the ocean, you will discover your tripod's magical ability to suck and store water into these telescopic tripod legs. What you'll find is as you adjust these tripod legs while you're standing in water, it, your, your tripod will store at least half a liter of water, which you'll forget all about. And as you finish your shoot and you're leaving the scene, like me, sometimes you may just tip your tripod upside down and if the camera is still attached, you'll get a nice soaking on your camera. So always take the camera off, stow that in your bag and then just tip up the tripod to pour out the water and you'll find that it just pours out of the top there of the legs and is gone. And it's always nice to get rid of that before you either get back to the car or even worse, if you're camping and you forget to do that and you go into the tent and you pour that out, you got a nice soggy tent. So that's tip number five. So those are my five top tips for using your tripod for landscape photography. If you enjoyed those, I do have five more. So let me know, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, post a comment. Let me know if you want more of this. I've got plenty more tips where that came from. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.